Chapter 8 Braises a Blood Drama and His Followers At that time, from within the Iron Ring Mountain, Lord Yama and his following of infinite gods, the kings, came before the Buddha in the Chajachimsha heaven. They were the ghost king Evil Poison, the ghost king Many Evils, the ghost king Great Argument, the ghost king White Tiger, the ghost king Blood Tiger, the ghost king Crimson Tiger, the ghost king Spreading Disaster, the Ghost King Flying Body, the Ghost King Lightning Flash, the Ghost King Wolf Tooth, the Ghost King Thousand Eyes, the Ghost King Animal Eater, the Ghost King Rock Bearer, the Ghost King Lord of Bad News, the Ghost King Lord of Calamities, the Ghost King Lord of Food, the Ghost King Lord of Wealth, the Ghost King Lord of Domestic Animals, the Ghost King Lord of Birds, the Ghost King Lord of Beasts, the Ghost King Lord of Mountain Sprites, the Ghost King Lord of Birth, the Ghost King Lord of Life, the Ghost King Lord of Sickness, the Ghost King Lord of Danger, the Ghost King Three Eyes, the Ghost King Four Eyes, the Ghost King Five Eyes, the Ghost King Chi Li Shu, the Great Ghost King Chi Li Shu, the Ghost King Chi Li Cha, the Great Ghost King Chi Li Cha, the Ghost King Nocha, the Great Ghost King Nocha, the and other such great Ghost Kings. With um, hundreds of thousands of minor Ghost Kings who dwelt throughout Jambu Vipa, each presiding over certain jurisdictions. Aided by the Buddha's awesome spiritual strength and the power of Earth Star Bodhisattva Mahasattva, all these ghost kings joined Lord Yama in the Chajachimsha heaven and together they stood to one side. Then Lord Yama knelt, placed his palms together and said to the Buddha, Word honored one, aided by the Buddha's awesome spiritual strength and the power of earth star Bodhisattva, I have been able to come here with all these ghost kings to join this great assembly in the Chajachimsha heaven, which will be very much to our benefit. There is now a small doubt that I should like to express, and we hope the world honored one will be compassionate and resolve it. The Buddha told Lord Yama, I will answer any question you would like to ask. At that time, Lord Yama looked respectfully at the world honored one, made obeisance, turned his head to acknowledge Earth Star Bodhisattva, and then said to the Buddha, World honored one, I observe that Earth Star Bodhisattva uses hundreds of thousands of expedient devices to rescue beings who are suffer for their offenses within the six paths of rebirth. I see that he does so instinctively, without the least fatigue. Although this great Bodhisattva uses his inconceivable spiritual penetration to do such deeds, it doesn't take long for the beings whom he has helped in gaining release from retribution to fall into the evil paths again. Won't honored one, since the earth star Bodhisattva has such great inconceivable spiritual powers, why are beings that are not able to rely on him, to stay on the good paths, and to be freed once and for all? Please, won't honored one explain that for us. The Buddha told Lord Yama, The beings of Jambu Vipa have stubborn and obstinate natures. Difficult to tame, difficult to subdue. This great Bodhisattva continually rescues such beings throughout hundreds of thousands of ends, causing them to obtain liberation quickly. For those beings undergoing retributions, even in the worst destinies, the Bodhisattva applies the strength of expedience to extricate them from their own basic karmic conditions and lead them to understand the events of their past lives. But 
because the beings of Jambu Vipa are so bound up by their own heavy bad habits. They keep revolving in and out of the various paths over and over, as this Bodhisattva labels throughout many, many long ends to entirely effect their rescue and release. They are like people who, in confusion, lose their way home and take a dangerous road by mistake. On that dangerous road are many yakshas, tigers, wolves, lions, serpents, and vipers. Those confused people are sure to be harmed very quickly on that dangerous path. But then they meet a knowledgeable guide skilled in avoiding all the potential harm, including the toxins of the yakshas and others. This mentor begins to lead the travelers off that dangerous path, saying, Beware, everyone, what business has brought you onto this road? What kinds of special skills do you have to avoid all those dangers? Hearing that, the confused travelers realize that they are on a dangerous path and turn back, attempting to escape. The guide then tells them to join hands, leads them off the dangerous path and helps them avoid the deadly peril. When they reach the safe road, the travelers are relieved and come down. Their guide then says to them, take care, confused ones. Confused ones, never to get back on that path again. Once on it, it is hard to get off. It can destroy a person's very nature and life. The travelers who had been confused expressed their deep gratitude. And as they are about to part, the mentor says to them, If you see any other travelers, whether you know them personally or not, be they men or women, tell them that the dangers and evils on that path could destroy their very natures and lives. Do not allow them to unwittingly bring about their own deaths. In the same way, Earth Star Bodhisattva, replete with great compassion, rescues beings who are suffering for their offenses and enables them to be born among humans and gods where they enjoy wonderful bliss. Once those offenders are released from the suffering they experienced on the paths where their karma took them, they must never go down those roads again. They are like the lost people who mistakenly took a dangerous path and were led to safety by a kind mentor. They know now to never take that road again. Moreover, they exhort others not to get on that road by saying, we took that road ourselves when we got confused, but we escaped and now we know better than to ever get on that road again. If we were to set foot on it again, we would get confused and be unable to recognize it as the dangerous path we took before. That being the case, we might lose our lives. The same holds true for falling into the bad destinies due to the powerful expedient means of Earth Star Bodhisattva. Beings can be freed and gain rebirth as humans or gods. If they were then to turn around and enter into the bad destinies again, those with heavy karmic bonds might remain in the house forever with no chance of escape. At that time, the ghost king Evil Poison placed his palms together respectfully, addressed the Buddha, and said, World honored one, each of us, countless ghost kings of Jambu Vipa, bestows benefit or inflicts harm upon beings di differently. However, Comic retributions cause those in my retinue to do more evil than good. Nonetheless, when we pass by a household, a city, a town, a garden, a cottage, or a hut, where there are men or women who have cultivated as little as a hair's worth of good deeds, 
even if they have a hand up but one banner or one canopy used a, a little incense or a few flowers as offerings to images of Buddhas or Bodhisattvas, recited the sacred sutras or burned the incense as an offering to even one sentence or gather in them. We God kings will respect such people as we would the Buddhas of the past, present, and future. We will instruct the smaller ghosts, each of whom has great power, as well as the earth spirits to protect such people. Bad situations, accidents, severe or unexpected illnesses, and all other unwelcome events will not even come near their residences or other places where they may be, much less answer the door. The Buddha praised the ghost kings, excellent, excellent, that all of you ghost kings joined Lord Yama in protecting good men and women in that way. I shall tell Lord Brahma and Lord Chakra to make sure that you are protected as well. When that was said, a ghost king in the assembly named Lord of Life said to the Buddha, Won't honor one, my karmic conditions are such that I have a jurisdiction over the lifespans of people in Jambudvipa, governing the time of both their births and their deaths. My fundamental vows are based on a great desire to benefit them. But people do not understand my intent and go through birth and death in distress. Why is that? When women in Jambudvipa have just given birth to children, be they boys or girls, or when they are just about to give birth, good deeds should be done to increase the benefits of the household, thus causing the local earth spirits to be immeasurably pleased. The spirits will then protect the mother and child so that they experience peace and happiness and will bring benefit to the entire family. After the birth or kill, killing and injuring for the purpose of offering fresh meat to the mother should be carefully avoided, as it should parties that include drinking alcohol, eating meat, singing and playing musical instruments. All those things can keep the mother and child from being peaceful and happy. Why is that? At the difficult time of birth, uncountable evil ghosts, including mountain sprites, goblins, and certain spirits, desire to eat the strong smelling blood. I quickly order the, the local earth spirits of that household to protect the mother and child, allow them allowing them to be peaceful and happy and to receive other benefits. When people in such households witness those benefits, they should do meritorious deeds to express their gratitude to the earth spirits. If instead they harm and kill and have large gatherings involving feasting and entertainment, then the retributions that results from such offenses will be borne by them and will bring harm to the mother and child as well. Moreover, when people of Jambu Vipa are on the verge of death, I wish to keep them from falling into the evil paths, regardless of whether they have done good or evil. But how much is this power of mine to help them increase when they have personally cultivated good rules. When those who do good, who do good in Jambu Vipa are about to die, hundreds of thousands of ghosts and spirits from the evil paths transform themselves and appear as their parents or other relatives in an attempt to lead such people to fall into the evil paths. How much more is that the case for those who have done evil deeds? World Honored One, when men or women in Jambudvipa are on the verge of death, their consciousnesses and spirits become confused and dark. 
They are unable to discriminate between good and evil and their eyes and ears are unable to see or hear. That is why relatives of those deceased people should make generous offerings, recite the sacred sutras, and recite the names of Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. Such good conditions can cause the deceased to leave the evil paths, and all the demons, ghosts, and spirits withdraw and disperse. Won't honored one, if at the time of death, beings of any kind have an opportunity to hear the name of one Buddha or Bodhisattva, or to hear a sentence or gather of a Mahayana Sutra, I observe that such beings can quickly be freed from the pool of their accumulated minor bad deeds that would not otherwise send them to the evil paths. The exception to that is crimes involving killing that warrant fivefold relentless retribution. The Buddha told the Ghost King Lord of Life, Because of your great compassion, you are able to make such great vows and protect all beings in the midst of life and death. When men or women in the future undergo birth and death, do not retreat from your vow, but liberate them all so that they can experience an eternal peace. The God King told the Buddha, Please do not be concerned until the end of my life. In every thought, I shall protect beings of Jambu Vipa at the time both of birth and of death, so that they all find tranquility. I only wish that at the time of birth and death, they would believe what I say so that they could all be liberated and gain many benefits. At that time, the Buddha told the Earth Star Bodhisattva, This great God King Lord of Life has already passed through hundreds of thousands of lives as a great God King, protecting beings during both birth and death. Only because of his great being's compassionate vows does he appear thus in the body of a great ghost king, for in reality he is not a ghost. After 170 ends have passed, he will become a Buddha named No Appearance Thus Come One. His errand will be called happiness, and his world will be named Pure Dwelling. That Buddha's lifespan will continue for incalculable ends. Earth store, the circumstances surrounding this great God King are thus. They are inconceivable, and the people and gods whom he rescues are countless. And a part two of Sutra of the Past Vows of Earth Star Bodhisattva. The true words of seven Buddhas for eradicating offenses. Li Pu Li Pu Di Jiao He Jiao He Di Tuo Luo Ni Di Ni He La Di Pi Li Ni Di Mu He Jie Di Chen Ling Chen Di Suo Po He. Spirit mantra for rebirth in the pure land. Nam Wa Er Mi Duo Pu Ye Duo Tuo Chie Duo Ye. Mantra for patching the flaws in recitation. Praise Universal worthy requests Earth Star replies in depth so that beings in the three paths and six realms go free. From the dusty world of rebirths, universally expansive asks the Tathagata, 
and learns our traditions and the ten fasting days, so that all reach the lotus terrace, homage to Earth Star Bodhisattva Mahasattva. Earth Star Bodhisattva prays, Earth Star Bodhisattva, wonderful beyond compare, gold hued in his transformation body, he appears. Wondrous Dharma sounds throughout the three paths and six realms. Four births and ten kinds of beings gain his kindly grace. His pearl, shining brightly, lights the way to heaven's homes. Six ringed golden staff shakes open wide the gates of hell, leads on those with the causes garnered life and life again. To bow at the nine flowered terrace of the honored, the honored one, Namo Earth Star Great Vows and Compassion Bodhisattva of the Dark and Dismal Worms, on nine flower mountain, most honored one. With the ten wheels of power, you rescue all the suffering ones. Homage to Earth Star Bodhisattva. Ha ha ha, Bodhisattva.